Happy Friday. Hey there, hey there. I'm Emily A. Hay, and I am so excited today to be on TikTok Live. Yes, it is my first one, um, but I love talking about this stuff, and I can talk about it in my sleep. So my hope today is anyone that is tuning in to this TikTok Live really is just going to hear about a topic that they either didn't know was a thing or they had no idea how to possibly get into it. So the topic that I'm covering today is called how to turn your very simple social media skills into a revenue generating side gig. So a little background, um, again, my name is Emily A. Hay and I am a social media business owner. I teach women all across the country on how to be a social media manager as well. So I am here to cover this topic because it is something that people are just really curious to know. How do you actually turn, you know, the basics of social media skills into a real revenue generating side gig? So I have this slide here to show everyone um, that I am going to be going through some specific slides as long as I can figure out with this TikTok live how to switch the specific um, backgrounds here. Um, I'm going to go from, you know, one green screen to another. So um, welcome, everyone. I'm so excited to see you, Vanessa. And hey, Alejandra. Um, I see KDL has joined. So again, I'm Emily A. Hey, and if you are here on this TikTok Live, then I am covering how to turn your simple social media skills into a revenue generating side gig. So um, I come with experience. My background is running a social media agency for over a decade. And now our company has pivoted uh, for the last couple of years to train individuals how to be social media managers. So that's why I talk a lot about freelance. Um, and again, you can work as a social media manager as a side gig. You can turn into something full-time. You can work freelance. You can work for a company. Um, but really, it is just taking the social media skills that you have today. You know, if you're here on TikTok watching this, then you already have social media skills to build upon. And you can upskill yourself to be able to turn that into a business that you offer social media marketing help and become a social media manager for businesses. So, okay, let me go ahead here. And hi, 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 Brandy. Oh my gosh, my girl from high school. So awesome to see you. And thank you for always being so, so wonderful and supportive. I love you so much. Um, I see we've got on hell here and lots of other folks joining. So let me see if I can uh, go ahead and by all means, I would love any, um, any any suggestions feedback on how I can possibly change my green screen now that I have this this slide up here I have a number of slides that I'm going to show um, so uh, let's go ahead here we'll go to effects and I'm gonna go to my next slide yes I figured out how to do this so thank you all for bearing with me so let me go ahead and give you the agenda because this is why you're here so I am going to cover these next points um, while we're on TikTok Live. And really, we're going to start with what the social media industry looks like today for flexible workers. So I know I mentioned this being a side gig, but hey, you can freelance and have your own flexible business. Um, that is definitely mainstream these days. And so we're thankful that we are living in the future of work and that flexible work is here to stay. Um, as a social media manager, I get a lot of questions like, what can you make? You know, what is the earning potential to be a social media manager? Um, a lot of folks will also think, well, how is it really different from being a VA or a virtual assistant? So I'll make sure to go through that as well. Um, again, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I see you've got Aaron here. I've got an Aaron with an A and Aaron with an E. So happy to have you both. And again, Brandy, so, so happy to see you too. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get into this work. I just mentioned if you are on this TikTok live, then you already have the simple social media skills. Let's turn them into how you can package them and charge businesses to be able to do things like TikTok live for those businesses. Um, nothing is more powerful than hearing some real life examples. And I love to share stories of people that have really transformed their life, um, including a lot of moms who have the need for flexible work. And so social media manager work is, is a great fit for people like that. Um, so and then we'll talk about some next steps because I don't want to leave you here without some sort of, okay, I'm, I'm curious. Now what do I do to possibly move forward and get into this work? Okay. Um, my next slide here. Yay. I'm so pumped. Like I said, I, I love TikTok, but this is my first TikTok live and I have not done a green screen where I've had to change the slides. So I think I have figured it out, but if you have any questions, you know, pop them into chat and I'm excited to talk. Uh, okay. This very tiny slide that you are seeing, I know it's an eye chart, but I want to point out two things. 
you have not missed the window if you are even thinking about doing social media manager work. So social media is clearly an established industry. It's a mature platform, but businesses still fail. Like they're still failing on social media every day. And I should back up to even talk about what do I mean by businesses? So, you know, businesses like very small micro businesses um, that could be an author, that could be a podcast host, that could be a realtor, you know, micro businesses like that, they are struggling on social media, but it's not just them. They can, there can be larger small businesses, say businesses with 50 or less employees that are still struggling with social media marketing. So Just want you to know that this market is continuing to grow and businesses continually need people like you. So it's super in demand. By the way, hi, Erin. Thanks again for saying hi. Um, This other point here, as you're looking at this, this slide above my head, this article is one that my business partner and I wrote for Fast Company. And so we just pointed out that Hey, freelance is mainstream. You do not need to convince businesses anymore that you are a legit professional or that you are worth the fees that you command or that you can be efficient working from home. Freelance is mainstream, but it really is something that you need to learn how to do. So this article that you see the screenshot of on the right, um, we wrote for Fast Company where you really shouldn't just tell someone to go freelance there is some training that can help you avoid avoidable mistakes. So just a little pep talk for you that freelance is absolutely mainstream. Okay, Um, let's talk a bit about the benefits of the social media industry and why it is a great industry to work in. Now, I know I just said businesses are still struggling and the need for social media help is still increasing. So it's a huge billion dollar business and we know that it's in demand. So conventional advice is, well, pick something that's in demand and you'll always be needed. Um, you know, this isn't a dying industry. It's quite quite the opposite. So I, I talk a lot about flexible work. Um, with social media management, not only is it can you learn how to do this flexibly, but it is truly flexible work. So what I mean, you can do this, whether you have small children and you know, they're napping or your kids are at school, or maybe you are an early riser and you want to get your work done in the morning or you're a night owl, but flexible work that is truly flexible can be done on your time, on your terms. Um, By the way, hi, Lady Pakori and hi, Emily, Emily Norton. Nice to see another Emily here. Um, Another thing that's great about social media, you can ramp up or down your workload. Now, that's not unique to social media. That's really with being a freelance professional. Um, If you have, you know, a season, maybe it's the holidays and you personally have a lot of demands in your life and you need to scale back the amount of work that you're doing, you can you can ramp your work down or the opposite. You know, if it is, let's say, fall, and maybe you are a mom who has kids going back to school um, and you have some more time to ramp up your workload. And and besides just having regular clients, maybe you have the time to bring on consulting projects and do more. You could ramp up or down. So I love that part about this work. Um, Wide range of services. So again, I'm talking about being a social media manager. So we often think about content creation and being a community manager, but there are plenty of other services you can offer as a social media manager, such as social media training. You know, there's businesses that already have someone on their staff to do social media, but those folks might just need their skills brushed up. You know, they might need some training and someone like you can help get them there by charging, you know, a set fee for doing that sort of coaching. Um, With setting your own rates, so that's something that is a blessing and a curse of freelancing. The blessing of it is that it really is up to you and you can always change your rates based on, you know, learning what takes you more time and what you can get done quicker. Um, You can also change your rates based on what is in the most demand. And I'll give you a little insider tip that if you can do social media ads, I swear you can build a business as a social media manager that specializes in paid ads. Um, On the flip side, if you are really into video production and you can whip videos out through CapCut and whatnot, you can specialize as that type of social media manager that creates video content. So um, there's ways that you can set your own rates for really in-demand services. Uh, The curse side of freelance is there's no rate sheet. You know, it's so hard to know, like, what should I charge when I do this work? Um, But one of the things that that you should keep in mind is it gives you the flexibility to change your rates, um, but there also is just no set fee. So don't feel like you're doing it wrong if you're questioning or wondering, well, what the heck should I charge for my work? 
Okay, let me switch my, my slide here. I've lost my screen and we'll, we'll fix that in just one second. Okay, this, I'm sorry guys, on a TikTok Live, this is also an eye chart because this is super teeny tiny writing, but I want you to see that two of the FAQs we get the most at Hey There Social Media are, how is social media manager work different from being a VA or a virtual assistant? And how much can you make doing this work? So if you're hanging on with me until this point um, and you're still curious, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spill the tea right now pretty early on in this TikTok live um, to let you know that, first of all, let's talk about how being a social media manager is different from being a VA. Now, when you are a VA, you generally will handle a wide range of work for your clients. So both both social media managers and VAs are flexible workers, which is great. Um, but a VA might handle, like I said, a broader range of activity, while a social media manager is very specialized. And when you freelance, if you have a specialty, you can charge more, you can make more. And again, social media marketing as, a, as an industry is so in demand right now that it really pays off to know a lot about one industry. So I just look at the difference between being a VA and being a social media manager is really the difference between being a generalist versus a specialist. Uh, the next question here, so how much can you make doing this work? So we are a, a shop, we are an agency, Hey There Social Media, that always has worked with retainers. So I would be happy to do a TikTok Live where we just talk about um, charging on a retainer versus going hourly because there really is just not one size fits all. But when you are doing this work, you can offer a monthly scope of work. I, I put some specific numbers here because, again, I want to give you guys all the meat you can possibly get for being on this live. Um, you can charge between five to seven hundred dollars on the smaller end, and then you can do monthly retainers between fifteen hundred and twenty five hundred a month on up based on the size of business you're working with and based on how much you're doing for them. So um as you start to think about yourself, you know, as a freelance professional, you are an entrepreneur and you're going to have more than one client at a time. Um, you know, maybe it's that that wide open season where you have a lot of availability. And so you're going to go ahead and take on a lot of work. Um, but you maybe you have another time of the year where you only have room for one client. So it really can fluctuate with how much you make. Um, but the sky is the limit as an independent contractor. Okay, um, let's talk next here. I'm gonna go ahead and show some examples of women that are doing this work as social media managers today. Um, by the way, El Patron, good to see you. Gosh, when I think of Patron, I think of other things that make me happy, <laughs> so I'm happy to have you here. Uh, as I talk a little bit about some of the women that are doing social media manager work today, um, I specify women because my company trains women in particular on how to be social media managers, and we are a community of social media managers. So this, again, nothing's more powerful than, you know, seeing to believing. So these women are all across the country, and they're doing social media. Um, they might have had a resume gap. So there's someone that maybe, you know, took a break in their career for um, being a full-time parent or full-time caregiver. Uh, these women have a wide range of backgrounds. So, you know, maybe you have a background in marketing or communications or sales. Um, if you're someone who has been a teacher or maybe you're a teacher right now, maybe you uh, just really like to write. All of those backgrounds absolutely tie in to being a really great social media manager. And I've seen it happen every day. Um, we've had women that are military spouses, single, married, all kinds of family and marital configurations do this work. And like I said, the whole point of this TikTok Live is to talk about social media as a side gig, but this can start out as a side gig and quickly turn into something that you do part-time, full-time for yourself or for another company. All right. Um, let me go ahead and bounce to the next slide here. Thanks, everyone, for your patience. We'll go into a little bit more of the real-life stories. Um, hi, Scott. Hi, Ed. Um, let's see. We've got the real golden gooch. Hey, good to see you. Uh, Dylan, love having you on here. Thank you, guys. I know it's we made it to Friday. Yay. And sometimes it's uh, it's it's interesting, like what's being covered on TikTok Live. Other times you're just tapped out. So I get it if you're in that space, too. Um, but I'm going to keep going here as we talk about some examples of women that have turned their social media side gigs into full time businesses. So you're looking at a couple of women that I have personally worked with. Um, these are real people <laughs> that live in the U.S. 
and they have a difference in stories. Um, one of the gals, she had a resume gap and she was someone who really wanted to get back into the workforce and thought social media would be a great skill to have and to brush up on. And as soon as you become a freelance professional, you have an active work experience. You know, you no longer have that resume gap. So if you are someone who is in flux, you know, you're figuring out like what's your next career move, um, or if you've been out of work, or if you're looking to enhance and pivot to something else, you can add this on and give yourself another thing that you're doing as a work experience. So I, I'm a big Shark Tank fan, and I, I heard Barbara Corcoran on Shark Tank the other day talk about advice that she would give her younger self, and she said, I would be multifaceted. It, you know, of her era, she said it was really good to know one thing and, you know, you go to school and you become that thing and you do that forever. Um, well, she's someone who says being multifaceted today really pays off. So um, with that in mind, let's talk about my next uh, multifaceted story here. So Layla is someone who had a background in PR. Uh, she was actively freelancing and said, you know, if I really niche down and add some social media manager experience to what I can offer clients, then I can charge more, I can do more for them. Um, so that's something to, to keep in mind of how she, you know, used social media to enhance her current uh, profession. And then Kelly, Kelly's someone who lives um, in the Michigan area, and she has always had a background in sales, um, actually teaching as well. And she just really liked to add on another way to make money um, for small businesses in the area and be able to bring some additional income in so that she could do things with her kiddos. All right. Um, so the next thing after you hear their stories, I've got one more story. Let's let's talk about transformation. You know, such a big word and you think, oh, you know, do I really have what it takes to transform my career? And the answer is Yes. So this, this right here is, is Kimberly, and she is a woman that I met a couple of years ago. Um, Kimberly had a background working in dental practices, but she was a stay-at-home mom, um, super important job, I'm the first to say, and she was someone who really just wanted to get back into doing something that was fulfilling and used her creative talents, um, but she knew she wanted to work flexibly because of, you know, mom life. And so she's someone who, as a stay-at-home mom, got into doing social media without any idea of what it would do for her or what kind of business she really could build. Well, my spoiler alert, I'll read this quote from her because, um, of course, it's very small in this eye chart. Sorry, guys. Um, but she says, I've become my own boss and I'm a social media manager. I've been a stay-at-home mom for the last decade, so this is brand new. Nine months in, but I'm loving it and really excited to see where this business takes me. Now, Spoiler, this testimonial is a couple of years old, and not only has Kimberly turned being a social media manager into her full-time business, but she has really carved out an awesome niche doing social media for podcast hosts. So you think about every podcast, you know, everybody has a podcast, but everybody that has a podcast needs to be on Instagram. You know, they're creating all kinds of content, video, audio, they need to put that on TikTok. So it's something to think about that, gosh, social media managers isn't just for a brick and mortar business or it isn't just for bigger businesses. Podcast hosts need social media managers. And that's something that Kimberly has really niched down into. And she's even picked up doing podcast production. So if you would have asked this woman, you know, are you, are you interested in podcast producing? Of course, she would have said, I don't even know what you're talking about. But she started with, let me be a social media manager. Let me find the businesses that I'm drawn to and the services that I really like creating content for. And she just continued to follow the breadcrumbs. And before you know it, not only did she have clients in that space, they needed her for more than just social media. So um, we call it SOW, SOW, you know, share of wallet. If you can get more share of wallet from your clients, then you get you're working smarter, not harder. Okay, so it's Friday and it's TikTok Live uh, in the afternoon. I don't always have the best attention span this time of day, but hey, if you are on and you are listening, then I am going to give you so much credit because it shows me that you're curious. And when you're curious, I feel like you're super energized and optimistic. But then when it gets serious about like, okay, it's time to take action, it's so easy to say, eh. I'll wait till tomorrow. Like, eh, I'll wait till next quarter. Eh, I'll wait till next year. The point is, whether this message is for any aspiring social media manager or just anybody that needs to hear it, the timing for anything you want, anytime you want to do something is never perfect. 
So I have my little pie chart here to show you that as a mom, I feel like my time goes between kids, kids, and everything else. So um, if this resonates for you, then again, I'm, I'm in the same, same boat as you. Um, but I'm going to tell you, pat yourself on the back if you're here today hearing about this. If you're curious about flexible work, if you want to be fulfilled, and I promise you, it is all very learnable. And once you learn how to do social media for businesses, it is a very transferable skill set. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit um, now. Let me go in. I'm going to show you guys. So I mentioned that I have a company, Hey There Social Media. And so that is the, the organization that I do this work of training social media managers. Um, it's not just me. I have a team, uh, but we're all here in the U.S. And so we offer um, two training programs. So I'm going to show you guys right now. And then let me go ahead and make sure I haven't missed any questions or anything below here. Um, I still see Scott. We've got a Michael that's joined. Hello, hello, everyone. Everyone. Hello, Miguel. Um, happy to have everyone on here. So this this slide, very small, like everything else I've shown you today. But this is just to show you if you are interested in becoming a social media manager, this is the main core offering that my company delivers. So you are looking at um, I love the colors, but a very colorful module wheel. Um, this wheel is going to show you all the different things that we train women on. Um, the women that I told you about earlier, the, they have all learned this content from us as well. And basically we cover things from operations, prospecting, building a portfolio, all the way through very specific social media specialties like social media ads, community management, influencer campaigns, metrics. I mean, there's so much to it. So um, so this program, I mean, this right here, you can get all of this information on our website, um, but really it's just to show you that it is our comprehensive six-week program that will take you from, you know, I, I know enough to be dangerous or, you know, I'm really good at Instagram, but I haven't spent too much time on LinkedIn. It'll give you all the skills you need to be able to be a social media manager for businesses. So I'm going to skip to the next one because I'm honestly, for the, the sake of TikTok live here, I'm more excited to talk about core training light. I love core training. I spend a lot of time delivering this to women via Zoom all the time. But core training light is exactly what the word light means. It is a, an entry point. It is our smaller uh version of our training that is self-paced and it obviously comes at a much lower price point. So what you can see here, um, this, this training is a physical box that is shipped to your house. So I love, I love that factor because, you know, learning, learning something or pivoting and upskilling yourself, it's often not very glamorous and it also isn't always like very tangible. So I love that with core training light, you are literally buying a box that, as I said, is shipped to your house and um, you can get 20% off and free shipping. And not only do you get what's in the box to learn and upskill yourself, you get the support. So we designed this program. You know, there is no point in learning something and feeling like, well, great, I have a question and now I have nowhere to go. Like I have no one to ask. So with Core Training Light, you have the ability to hop into our online community and ask all the questions you want. Um, you're surrounded by other people that have learned from us as well. You'll be surrounded by the women that I showed you on the TikTok Live as well. Um, but really, that's what Core Training Light is. So in my bio, I have the link and you'll be able to link right to it, Core Training Light. And we have all the promo codes going right now. So, okay, as I get close to wrapping up here, um, I just, oh, hi, Steven. Hi, we've got Olvida. Hi, Olvida, underscore TKM. Um, Doxy, Tyler, good to hear from you. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here and giving us likes. I so appreciate that. Um, as I wrap up, I know, you know, I've been on here a while and thank you guys again. It's Friday, like attention span is usually at its lowest by now. Um, but I have just a, just kind of a call to action to let you know. Um, it's really hard to make these decisions without talking to someone. So I'm glad that you're, you're tuning in and hearing me, but I totally appreciate I am like talking at you. And so if you want to talk with me, there also is in my bio, um, the uh, Calendly, you can go ahead and schedule a call with us. Um, this particular slide 
is from a webinar that we did with uh, Kaylin of the South Houston Moms. So um, if you are someone who's from the Texas area or maybe Houston, like give me, give me a like, give me, give me something so I know where you are in the country. Um, but Kaylin is someone that went through our program and she's been an amazing person to work with because she already was pretty digital marketing savvy, but she was like, well, how can I upskill and learn more about delivering social media manager services to businesses to be able to, like we said, you know, make more, have a side gig, bring on more work from your current clients. Um, and it's been, you know, as you can see from, again, tiny eye chart, um, from her quote, she says, I've done the actual training myself and was wowed with how thorough and fun Emily and the Hather social media team was. So thank you so much, Kaylin. I'm so honored to have worked with you. And I'm so happy that you had a positive experience and are willing to tell everyone about it. So these slides, again, were from um, a presentation that I did with Kaylin about how to turn, you know, your social media skills into a revenue generating side gig. So this is where we started. So um, I'm here anytime, you know, my content, of course, is uh, work, life advice. Um, I am a freelance professional. I have built an agency. I teach people how to do it too. So who you learn from makes a huge difference. And I'm very proud of the reputation we've built and the reviews that we have gotten um, and Really, we're just getting out of bed every day to make social media manager work more accessible to people. And that's through, you know, programs like the core training light. Like when you just need a little taste of something, you're not ready for the full bore, you know, core training. But if you just want to try something, that's what core training light is all about. Um, but we also have a free community hop into to my link in my, my profile and you'll be able to find things. I've, I've hopefully made that really easy to navigate. So um, Anna, Alice, good to see you, Rick. Thank you for joining. Um, hot dog milkshake joined. I love it. Hi, Matt. Um, I will let all of you guys go because we're wrapping up and I've been on the live here for just under half an hour, but I look forward to doing these again. Um, I feel like Friday is going to be a, a good time uh, to come back. So feel free to uh, leave any comments on my other other uh, posts, other TikToks um, with how else I can cover this. Or maybe, as I mentioned, I would love to do a TikTok live where I talk just about how you can price your services um, or a little bit of a 2.0. If you are already someone who's doing social media, maybe you'd love to learn about additional services that you can offer. So um, we have a place for you, no matter if you are a new, established, or just aspiring social media manager, that is completely what our company, Hey There Social Media, offers. So thank you guys so much for, for listening to me this afternoon. Again, my name is Emily A. Hay. I'm the founder of Hey There Social Media. Um, and really, I just rally you to think about all the ways you can work flexibly and earn. And until until next time, have a great rest of your day. Thanks.